it was how many years was it four years ago Britt, that i had a little a little drama at a bagel place in greensboro on high point road revolving i i seem to recall it was like new year's day of 2007 maybe could have been yeah could have been and uh that's right, because I had uh, met some guy, and I was getting a new phone. doesn't really matter. I go into the bagel place. It's on High Point Road in Greensboro. And uh, my recollection was, and you, you help me with this, because you tend to remember I'll the, try to remember the, the, the details, yeah. that um, they, they ran out of bagels, and uh, they wouldn't give me a pro-rated Price. In other words, uh, the, bagel, the bagels are normally like ninety cents or something. Yes. But if you buy twelve of them, it's it's eight bucks. So the the per bagel price is a lot less. And I said, well, okay, if you only have nine or, or eight, just just give me a you know a lower price. And they said, no, no. you have to buy the the, the bagels at the individual price. So it would end up costing me more to buy the eight than it would have been to buy the 12 for whatever that, that but you didn't want 12 and i didn't want 12 anyway they weren't giving you and I, I think it was late in the morning or something and you were kind of like hey yeah. just give me a break here because you're gonna have yeah. to throw these out anyway so let's just and they would not do it right you went on the radio and complained about that they took it very very personally they were very upset and uh you they wanted you to come back in the store and they just like either threw or handed you a bag of bagels you said let me pay for these no no just take these and get out that was kind of that's how I remember the story being. Is that is that sort of correct? That, that, that's about right. So here it is, all these years later, and yesterday I'm having lunch in in Greensboro on High Point Road with one of our best clients, just great guy. I get done and it's uh, 1:40 in the afternoon yesterday, and I'm driving home and I well, oh, there's the bagel place. I haven't been in there all these years. I'm going to go back in there because it's convenient. That's how you buy bagels. It's, it's what's convenient. I don't drive out of my way. If it's there, there. What could go wrong? So I, I walk in, and you know how bagel shops have the bins with each different kind. There might be 10 or 20 different bins. And I see a total of about five bagels in there because it's late in the day. They're going to close at 3. <laughs> I'm the only person. Can you see where the story's headed? Wait, wait. I'm the only person in there, and I say to the, uh, and it's not a girl, it's not a 16-year-old, this is someone uh, mature enough to know better, and I said, gee, I'd like a dozen bagels, and I think a dozen bagels are eight bucks, and I see only five, and I, uh, she, I said, do you have any others? She says, yeah, we do have some others. What kind do you want? And... uh uh, I I name them, and uh, I come up with a total of 12, and I say to her, now, do you get 12 or do you get 13? Because every bagel place I've ever been, oh, no. anywhere, going back 40 years, when you buy 12, they give you a 13th. It's the baker's dozen of bagels. Do I get a 13th? And she goes, No. <laughs> they're closing what are they going to do with these bagels stuff them up there you know what are you going to do with them oh my god i found you, you, i found the original bagel story i found the audio for the original bagel story from like three four years ago right so i looked at her and going through my mind was you know the fact i i gave these folks another chance for just the most minimal of customer service. She totally shut you down on the 13th page. Oh. Now, remember, this comes on the, the heels of over the weekend, they're refusing to refill my iced tea Dunkin' Donuts in Boston. I'm not looking for free stuff. Uh, honest to God, I don't spend my life looking for free. I don't. But did you end up getting the bagels? No. Oh, I did. I got the bagels. You got oh, the bagels. Okay. Oh, absolutely. I did. I did not get into a fight. I thought there would be an incident again. I, I did not argue with her. I didn't wear a "Don't you know who I am?" shirt. I didn't bring up. Oh, I can't believe you're the same jerks I had to deal with. Four years ago, I didn't have to deal with you. I could have just walked out. I just wanted some damn bagels. Is it, is it me? 
A- a- am I Larry David? There is an energy. A- am I curb your enthusiasm? I mean, did you when you walked into the place? Did you think, all right, I'm going to do my very best to make sure there is no incident? Yes. You you as you're talking, going through the door, you're talking to yourself. I'm going to be Mr. Yes. Cool. Yes. I just I just want the but, ba- I just want. But yet you had to ask for number thirteen. You had to do that. that. That didn't go through your mind that this might create some sort of problem. No, because. My expectation is, and I've been going to bagel places a long time, as you might know. You know, Jews and bagels. It's a, it's a thing. <laughs> we, right. we got a thing. Not a stereotype, right. not a put down. It's just a fact of life. Right. Uh, <laughs> bagel places all over the country, Cleveland, New York, South Florida. You I buy, mean, I bought bagels in some of your best bagel markets. You buy 12, you get one free everywhere Always. you've gone. And here... Brugger's bagels, you buy 12, you get a 13th for free. <laughs> so here, you're the local place. You're the local, I notice I've not named them. Yeah. You're the local place, and you gotta compete with these big chains. So what do you do? You don't give the 13th bagel for 12. You say, no. <laughs> not even gonna what, consider what, it. No, what, what mindset is going on there? Uh, I, I got news for you. Your bagels are not any better <laughs> than Brugger's bagels. They're not. They, they, they ain't that great. As I recall, okay. the ending of this story is when you were gonna go back to the bagel shop four years ago, a, one of, uh, a policeman was going to meet you there. Yes. Do you remember that, that thing? Yes, we had in, a policeman In case there's there. a problem, he didn't, we didn't anticipate any problem, but he said in case there was one, and I remember the guy giving you a card. He was a very, very nice fellow. Yes. Very I still nice have his man. card. That's right. Here is Isabella from Best Bagels in Town on High Point Road. Isabella, good morning. Good morning. Were, were you the uh, person that I dealt with yesterday? Yes. Yes, I am. All right, Isabella. Well, we're going to ask you. Did, to... did I did I tell the story correctly? Well, we're going to ask you, first of all, to watch your language. We did understand that you kind of cursed at our call screener, so yes, please so keep, keep it clean. Keep it clean, okay? I'm not going to say anything negative. Okay. 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 Good, good. Now, did I... Okay, did... first off, who do you think you are that you're going to sit here and pick on a small business that has been here for 17 years, and we have... Like, so, you know, High Point Road, for 17 years, my grandfather comes in here at 2 o'clock in the morning to make the bagel. Okay? I'm not, he has I'm not picking on no, you, no, no, Isabel. No, 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 Let me talk. Let me talk. You talk yours, let me talk. You, we have, my grandfather comes in here at 2 o'clock in the morning to make the bagels every single morning. My grandmother just had surgery, and she will be back to work. This Sunday, do you realize how much stress you're putting on us because you are a cheap state and don't want to buy a dozen bagels when you don't get 13 bagels anywhere else? Like, you are ridiculous. What, what stress has he put you under? <laughs> Isabella, c- c- calm down for a moment. What stress has he put you under? Is- Isabella, please, calm down for just a second. What stress has he put you under? Um, we don't want to be on your show at all. You have well, I have freedom of speech. I can say the name of your if, business. It, well, no, I- Isabella, I-, I said very simply, everywhere I've ever been in this country, in the United States, it's usually kind of a an, an unspoken thing that when people buy a dozen, oh, they throw in the 13th. And I was surprised yesterday. Oh, let, wait, wait, hang on. Let, let me finish. I was very surprised that yesterday, late in the afternoon, there's no one else in the store. It isn't as if there are people lined up to buy your bagels at that time of day. I assume you, you're left with some at the end of the day. I'm not telling you how to run your business, but I'm telling you from a public relations standpoint, it's it's obnoxious to, 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 to not throw you in a 13th bagel. You don't own a business. You don't need to sit here and put us on your stupid talk show when nobody's I'm, I'm sorry, Isabella. I'm sorry. I'm just relating my real life here no, on the radio. No, That's the way it life. is. We've... I can't help it. You know what? Do a 13th bagel, and I'll, t- I'll tell what a great place you are. But if, if you're going to – if you don't, don't come after me – on this, you're you're you making said, me the issue. You're the issue. You said much more negative things about our show and about our station, and we, we haven't said yeah. anything about yeah, your, you your can, place. Yeah, you're better to talk about, and you're not gonna let me talk. I'm letting you talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Isabella. The floor is yours. Go ahead. Okay. Well, don't come in our restaurant anymore. Okay. We don't want your business. Your business, personally, because we don't like you, because you should not be putting a place that has been here for 17 years on your stupid talk show, because you have nothing better to do in your life but to sit here and talk about freaking bagels and a small business. No, it's not Panera. No, it's not Burgers. No, we don't make that kind of money. If we made that kind of money, maybe we'd give you a 13th bagel, okay? 
It's hard times right now. The economy sucks. Don't give us crap because we didn't give you 13 bagels because you're a cheapskate. Okay? You're a straight-up cheapskate because we have given you a dozen bagels and we have given you a half pound. The cops were in here. We remember that day. Okay? You didn't, you didn't, didn't give me... It. Isabel, you didn't give me anything. I bought them yesterday. I didn't. I didn't ask for I'm free not anything. I'm talking about yesterday. I'm talking about the last time you did this crap. I think it created business for you guys last time. I it don't did think not it, create business. It certainly didn't hurt all, you. It did okay. not hurt you. I know that. Okay, no, it didn't hurt us. But why do you right. feel the need that you have to put us on your stupid talk show? Why do you feel the need that you have? I, to... Why do you continually call our, our talk show stupid? We haven't called your your business stupid. We haven't made any insults about your business. I, mean, I I I simply and we definitely don't put it on on our in our restaurant because we don't want to hear our uh, bagel shop getting talked about. Yeah, Get right? the, this is called free advertising. Yeah, if you, right. you, you, you know, know what, it, Isabel? Uh, uh, well, your dogs, we're not Jewish, is, by the way. We're freaking Italian. Isabella, if you <laughs> have... No one ever said you were Jewish. Brad's the Jew. Well, then create me some business if you say that you create this business by us. Uh, you're, just, you're yeah, I'll tell you what, ju you're, just for that, I'm coming back there and I'm buying more bagels and you can't stop me. Okay. Well, uh, you're going to buy some more bagels? Yes. Is, well, is it okay to give you a 13th bagel since that's what you wanted and you created all this drama? Because <laughs> one extra bagel? Oh, Isabel. I, one I, extra bagel? I, I, honest I, to goodness, l listen. Really? I, listen, my, my point here was, it was not to try to put you out of business or, or do anything. Like, I'm just noticing. Did you? I don't know if you heard the story. I was up in... Boston over the weekend, and they wouldn't refill iced tea. Do you refill iced tea at, at your place? Yes, we do. See? Look you see? That. There you go. There go. I'm yeah, we refill iced there tea. You go. We, I, have, we I, have lunch here. It's not just bagels. We have lunch since I'm on the air. Isabel, we have I, lunch, and we have everything else. We're not just bagels. Is, I, Isabel, I, I, honest to God, I am not your enemy. No, I appreciate really the fact I, it's a family business, and you are just defending your yeah. family because you felt like somebody was... Here, yeah. And I would never sit here and put somebody on the air... Uh, a bagel shop that I was nice to you yesterday. I was not mean to you at all. No, no. And, well, you, no, you, mean, you weren't mean to me, but but you were. Uh, when I when I said, "Gee, you're going to throw in a 13th, You just said simply no. I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, but we didn't have okay, a discussion well, we over. Get, well, we don't get 13. We used to do a baker's dozen. But we don't here's, do a here's the problem, dozen. Isabel. You, here's what you, you sound like the guy on Seinfeld. No soup for you. No 13th bagel for you. Do you understand okay, how you say? We're not bagel Nazis. I have, I've had it with you. Like you call us bagel Nazis. No, somebody you're else. Oh, no, somebody dreams. brought that you're, up. You're going to put us on your stupid Facebook page? Like you really have nothing better to talk about? How old are you? Like Billy, really grow up. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm, com I'm coming back and I'm getting more bagels sometimes, so you be ready for me. I doubt I'll see you again. Oh yes, you will, you and I want everybody. I want everybody to go. Dinner. I want everybody to go to your place and buy bagels. We have some good bagels. Could you at least? I know that? you do. We do have good bagels. I'm not saying that you don't. <laughs> You do oh, you do understand that you're representing the business right now, and some people might think, wow, with a personality like this, I don't know if I really want to stop it. You, you <laughs> well, do understand that. With a personality like you, who would even want to listen to your show? I kind of like her. Man, you know what? You got spunk. <laughs> You got yeah, spunk. I do have spunk, and I know how to run my freaking mouth. Okay? All right. I'm, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> anyway, you. thanks for... For... And I think it's so funny that we had somebody call our restaurant and say that we were getting talked down on your radio. Oh, please. You know what that means? That means people do listen to our stupid That's show. Right. You, you do understand. You ought to be. No, you... I don't listen to your uh, Isabel, you know, know what other people do. Uh, uh, let, me, uh, let me ask you. Would you be willing to be the official bagel <laughs> provider for the Brad and Brit show? Huh? huh? What? Would you be willing to be our official bagel provider? Um, if you're going to pay for the bagels, yeah. <laughs> Man, <laughs> this is tough. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be over to negotiate this soon enough, okay? Yeah. Thanks.